Welcome to Caribbean Vibes. I encourage all of you. This is a great conversation that I, I don't hear a lot of ones having. On. Welcome to Caribbean Vibes. Bless up. We was listening to Imhotep University live on their YouTube channel, on Imhotep University where there's lots of reasoning on dance hall, which the host tends to give everyone a chance to state evidence on different dance hall and topics. While listening a caller call in, it was yes, Sean Paul. Well, basis, a lot of the time is about, about arguing and flagging against each other and these things. And I like the discussion. But yeah, man, enough respect, respect General, man. And um, um, Sean so Paul, I, I right really want to hear your perspective on what Mr. Murray Elias said as it yeah. relates to you know, the state of dance art. So since you're here, you know, we appreciate that. And yeah. we would love to hear your feedback, man. So I give you the mic and you go to me, General. Yeah, man. Um, I don't agree with everything you say. I think that we have brilliant artists here. Um, me and him spoke after the, in Jamaica and in our culture. Um, me and him spoke after he made the comment in terms of say, boy, I'm just making a comment and I'm never going to blow up like that. Um, you know, everybody has emotions about it because it seemed like he was attacking us. I think in general, and just 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 in general, I'm saying he wants to see more for the genre. Um, he wants to see it back into a, a point where we are on playlists and we are you know, um, the music is 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 you now streaming or then selling back like how it was in the day, back in the day. Um, you know, we have different we have different points where in time, different points in time where reggae music or dancehall music have become huge in different uh, what what we can say in different territories at different times. You can look at the career of Bob Marley, you can look at the career of Shabaranks, you can look at the career of Bujo, and all of us know the stories of what happened. In, in those artists' careers, you understand? By the time I came around, um, I think what happened with me was preparedness meets opportunity. Um, I was a prepared artist in terms of I was in the streets in Jamaica, going regular to dances, attending many stage shows, watching and learning, going to studio every day. Um, and then it so happened that when the, the chance was given to me, I was able to take it uh, and put it into a, in, in a way where it was more global I accepted. I, I feel I hear people in here um, was saying things like, um, you know, me, me. Uh, it's more when I when in my songs it more comprehensible. Yeah, a lot of people are saying in here too. Yeah, me talk patwa in the song them, but also it's more appropriate. Like people can understand it. There's certain personalities that just get through um, in that respect with different things in life, and so I am to be one of them. I don't really, you know, have no science to it. I don't really have any, um, what you call, formula to tell you what I exactly did. But me's a people person, and you know that went a long way. Um, you know, I was always willing to stop and talk to fans and take pictures and sign autographs and just reason and those type of things. And I think that went a long way with my career. When it started to spill over outside of the numbers of the usual genre that usually check out dance hall, a lot of things start happening to my career. Um, in terms of the extra traveling, um, not being able to stay at home and actually, you know, be on the ground when I used to be able to go to every dance and every stage show and stand up in the background like a fly on the wall in the studios and watch who I go on and, and learn. Um, after a certain time, the internet come and, and, and free up a lot of things for the youth them and there was no, I hear a Russian say it the other day in an interview, no, no gate not dead anymore in terms of the internet is free and you can you can do what you think on it and as long as you stand out work wise ethical or, or, or ethically or non-ethical then you can you can do many things to get attention um but but it, it just depends on the actual person i believe you know what i mean um I, I, as i said i agree with a lot of things that he said but not that the artists uh that we don't have good artists that is something that maybe was a bit harsh in in, in him saying that um, I, just feel, I feel like Jamaica and, and our genre of music, dance from mental artists, rock steady, ska to rock steady, to reggae, to dancehall. When we look at the years that dancehall has been dominant, it has been, to me, the most dominant. It, it has been also the, the music that spanned many, many different um, genres all over the, the, the world and, and, and spawned a lot of people to use the vibe then. You know what I mean? From pop world, to the to the to the what you call it reggaeton world to Afrobeat world to even down in Trinidad now you see them producing jugglings and these things that you guys were talking about here in the in the um in the chat as well. So for me, what Murray had said, a lot of it I agree with, and, and some of it I don't agree with. But um, you know, this was my two cents on that. 
And I just want to reiterate again that sometimes our numbers, what we believe, say, the whole world know it. When you start to become, you know, one of the people who, or when it happened to me then, it, I became one of the people who people pinpoint as that music. They, they identify me with it. I found out the amount of numbers and the amount of people who are actually really ignorant about our culture in itself, you know? So it, it's about give and take and it's about that person personality and it's about, um, you know, working hard and, and trying to do the best that you can for the genre. Um, I find hey, Shampa, it, yeah. can I ask you a question? Yeah, we, sure. we, within the, the ears of, of the music, we have a man like Beres, we have a man like you, mm. seeing... Would you think that the, in, in, in the uh, uh, American perspective pertaining to music, would you think that there's a ceiling that they put on reggae music? I feel that there's many different barriers. Uh, one of them is Patua, but it is not in... in uh, and when I said that earlier in my career, people people vexed with me and said, oh, if you say that, I, like, you talk Patua and you sang them. And I said, yeah, but I never said that I, I it was wrong to do. It is right for us to express ourselves the way we feel fit, but it is not right for us to, to feel like everybody has to understand that. You know what I'm saying? Um, that is one That is one thing. Another thing is the numbers of people that actually in Jamaica that actually support. I see Vibes Cartel put out something yesterday, which a couple of days ago, which I agree with is like there's there's the average artist of 500,000 people, the average big artist from Jamaica of about 500,000 people following on YouTube and Instagram. But then the sales don't reflect that. And a lot of people saying, because nowadays, it is, um, you know, basically it's not good music. I don't agree with that either. There are some great artists out there putting out some good music. And yes, some of it is definitely different from what um, previous generations were putting out. But those kind of factors to me that we don't have a lot of numbers that support it. Uh, uh, so, you know, how we speak is indigenous to us. It's a broken language mixed with different dialects from Africa and, and, and England and these things, you know, the English language. And so, it's unique. We are a very unique people. We are small dot on earth. When I travel the earth, I can see that evidently the amount of people I see. And and um we are an, we, the country itself is an, 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 an anomaly. You understand? It is we we are different from a lot of people and I like to attribute that to that there's a lot of different influences that came into together to make who, us who we are. You know? Um right. so, um, Sean Paul, sorry to interrupt yeah. in general, but no. definitely I would like for you know, the, the couple of my panelists who are here to at least yeah. ask you one specific question. But before they do that, I really would like to get your perspective on two things. Um, is dancehall in a regression or is there like a light of at the end of the tunnel situation as it relates to dancehall right now? And um, as I said, the class culture yeah. as well. I, I want to get yeah. your perspective as to why you are not in favor of it, so to speak. All right. So the first part of the question now, you know, as I said before, there's ebb and flow with different, with different, um, genres throughout different times and so sometimes r&b will be on top like in the, in the early 70s r&b was a music that i hear more reliance say black america was listening to more than they respected or wanted to hear reggae music but then you know i think hip-hop music kind of came and took that over and that was the flow of that and then you would have like r&b kind of mixed with hip-hop and people like you know um who can i say in the 90s a, a resurgence you know with with the, with the, with the groups, them like Shy and people like R. Kelly and, and all of that thing. So it's ebb and flow with, with every music, I believe. And yes, right now, it is in a different space. Dancehall is in a different space than it was in the days when, basically, I was doing songs like like Temperature and, and, and number one songs throughout the earth. But I don't believe that I must dash it away. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm a person that believed in the music. I believed in it when I thought it was the biggest music in the world. And then found out that it really wasn't, and that a person like me was helping to carry it to the, to the rest of the place. Um, really and then it became it. number one music all over the place, where people still using the vibe right now. What upsets a lot of people from my generation or the, or the 90s generation of dancehall consumers and lovers is that the sound changed. And the sound change kind of came with a lot of different changes as well. Um, you know, um, the focal point... Not in dance, not being man or woman a dance anymore. It's like man a clique up one side and differences in, in, in the way generations want to express themselves. And so those things have to do with the ebb and flow as well. That's what happened to R&B. Went missing. away after the Come back in the 90s. So, so right now, yeah, there is a, there is a, a lull in, 
in us being heard internationally. But there's some great artists in Jamaica producing some great songs that I listen to on a daily basis. Um, when it comes to the Clash thing, I understand Sound Clash. But when it comes to artists clashing, to me, the sentiment for me is it just gets more and more, um, what can I say the word is? It gets more and more hardcore. And if I can look on a, you know, as a person that, that is trying to be conscious about what I consume, even when I when I'm eating food, um, if I if I look at a at a bis, business corporation and said to them, say, this canned food where you sell me and the amount of sodium in it, it's bad for my health to eat every day, to consume this every day, all the time would be detrimental to my physical structure. So I can look at a lyricist or a producer of a certain type of music and say, bro, the amount of the amount of salt where you are throwing at that something here for me or for my kids. Uh, for my kids at this point in time, um, when they grow to be 15 years from now, it can, it, I don't say it, it is, it can be something that is detrimental for their mental health. And so that's my stance on the clash thing. I once witnessed people fighting in parade and get stabbed up over the, the, the ninja and, and shabba clash when I was about 17 or 19 year old. And for me, I used to go to this thing year after year, but when that happened, to, when that happened in the front of my eyesight, it really got me against that style of presenting our music. And I, for one, never felt like going into the public eye and having people judge my skill against another artist who I know how hard it is to make it in this business. Because out of every one you see, a million other artists that are behind him. Um, and so for me, I just thought each one teach one and each one can help one instead of trying to show our lyrical skill in front of people who some of them, or most of them, have never written a song and never been on a stage either. So it is just my personal thing. I mean, for me, where I come from with music, it's supposed to be making a joyful noise. It is your expression to the world. It's what you have to say to the world. And if what you have to say to the world every day, you know, um, is a negative thing, even if that is what you're seeing around you every day, it can be bad for the people to consume, especially youngsters to consume all the time. And that is my stance. You know? All right. So I'm um, not taking anything away from any artist. My respect right. on the killer. Respect being a man. Respect, um, you know, Vibes Cartel and, 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 and my father for their talent. Me, me used to love Shabba Rankin. Uh, I, I still do. Re rate him. Um, and when we see Ninja Man deal with him on stage, it, it, it brings a, a, a pain in, in a myself to see the great Shabba feel that upset that tears come to him up on the stage because him own people, him who is waving the flag for outside of the country in every way possible, just in the way he walks and he speaks, the clothes that he wears, um, he represents us. And to hear them, to, to, to see that. Hold on, is it a, a last um, Sean Paul for a second? Is it a signal or something? Um, can someone respond? Signal. Just, look yeah, like like yeah. yeah. All right, so um, Sean Paul, um, whenever whenever you, your sound is back, you can just let us know. Chances are it might be a phone call. You know what you think about that? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Sean Paul let the host know he was listening that he appreciated the reasoning, meaning it was not mix up. And in fact, the guys had previously mentioned him. So Sean Paul stated the difficulty as a Jamaican getting to wider audience, but make sure you like subscribe and please leave a comment that we can interact with feedback. Yeah, yeah, so um, the ones and ones them, as soon as him check back in still does, you know, when you can ask him whatever question, you don't want to ask, you know, because you don't to, to get them chances at two after the night. Yeah, Lion Man. Emotep. It's yeah. the power of in intelligent reasoning. There's the wisdom where we throw out there and the magnitude where it's full. So each and every one on the platform, I'll, I'll do it sometime maybe, maybe interrupt a man, but may I tell you, I, I love intelligent reasoning because wisdom is something that open gates and, and it make we be very much creative. This is the creativeness of, of trying to say, all right, not like shooting down but more like opening up, shining a light. You yeah, man, I mean? definitely, and man. As, and as me, I say, you know, it's a good look for no say, Sean Paul can check in on a small platform like this, and yeah. I reason with we see you, you still, you get me, say, by, whatever, by whatever means you find it, still let us say, go and listen to the reason. So if for the day I chat some nonsense, you would kiss him teeth and go about him business and say, wait, hey. I just a typical hey. man, them this again. So I just say, go more hey. time, good reasoning. I say, you have to do it more time still, you see it. I wouldn't tune in if it wasn't intelligent. Remember, me the first one tuning in. I, I, I know, me know why I don't want to say that, but me like, me like what I want. So, so the item can't trip me. Yeah, yeah, man. So, um, as Mr. You know, Sean Paul, anytime you sound um, forward back, me general, you can just feel free to check in still. I, 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 I know, when I want to ask Sean Paul, 
and my brother love him there still seeing and my wait if he can chip in forward because <coughs> the one of me i got ask him <coughs> my brother love to see him, him do it still you know my mother like talking personal pertaining to that i think he can come so back, back now, go, right, okay. hold on there all right let me see if, if we hear him there because see a lady and check in too you know um sean paul yo yeah man i think yeah, we yeah, yeah man we lost the for a couple of minutes still but i'm happy you're back um, still so go to my general yeah, yeah. lady and yeah, check in yeah. too you know so you know it going to my general yeah, man. Yes, we've been, we been there talking, oh. never even know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, definitely yeah. lasted for about one, three, four, five minutes, something like that. Is it? All right. Well, I don't know where you didn't hear me chip out, you know. But um, the, the, for me, the clash thing is just not something that I enjoy and not something that uh, I want to spend uh, before, the time. Sorry, the before, yeah. before, before you continue, but yeah, I want to ask you something about the clash. As I did refer it to the, to the side, yes, we yeah, can't have that every day. Too much mm. of that, not good for nobody. We should agree mm. with that. But do you think it should be omitted out of the dancer completely? No, me never said that. Me no, never I'm said that. I'm not asking that. Me, that will be the question. No, me, no me, me never said that. I just think that we do spend too much time per year thinking about who is the next clash because it's boring. And I feel that we should spend more time thinking about let us try and get some hit tune out there where it, it is. Um, can we have the flag for the culture all over the world more? Because as yeah. I tell you, said, not everybody. As big as me, too. It's not everybody know understand everything about me either internationally. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we we yeah. are definitely a, a people that that have a whole heap of different sides to us, and so that is confusing to people. I just kind of love to put things in a box. Oh, that is rock music. That is R and B. That is reggae. You know, we come with dancehall and come with many different types of it, and you know, it it, it confusing to the average consumer or listener. Um, uh, you know, my artist, I can yeah. say something, I can ask you a question. Um, UMG. remember, I say you'd have um, Papa San and Lady G do man are right, woman are yeah. right, too. And you and Vegas do a song mm -hmm. where it hit where the two are not a clash, yeah. but it was a lovely clash, you know. What I mean, yeah, for do, me, do you think we can have more of them song there? For me, that, I would have liked that, but in general, the society just get more and more aggressive still. So, so can I say clash. something real quick? Sean, yeah, can sure. I say something real quick? Sure, sure, sure. All right, all right. Clash are going for ages. Can anyone need a music from their baby, right? Mm -hmm. But we're really, I'm kind of understand the point because I see the same thing after a super cat and, and, and ninja man yeah, clash, yeah. a man dead the next morning, and that they really traumatized me to a point. Yeah, clash yeah. is kind of nice when two artists depend on stage and they might do them thing, yeah. But women are like, the fans are the one who make the clash look the way it is, and I get the way it is because it's not, everybody, we understand everybody have them favorite and everybody go pick a side but i think they are the one that making the clash become the way it is um you know it, 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 to me me as a man just don't like play with fire so that's why i mean stay away from it because many different things can go wrong exactly with, with, with that type of thing i never said that it shouldn't be done i never said that it's part of it's not part of our culture but mm. when i look into different cultures there's many good and many bad things like in are you right in asia, in asia for instance they must have right? eating food with a lot of salt and that bad feel. In, in, You're right. Very intelligent. Very intelligent. And you are so right. You are so they right to know that. They have drinking extra alcohol, which is scotch. We mm -hmm. don't have anything else to chase it. And that bad feel your liver. So, me yeah, like very everything about our culture. I can tell you, I like the good things about our culture, which mm -hmm. is a strong genre that spoke mm -hmm. against apartheid. It's our next mm -hmm. thing where it, it's so strong that it helps other people to come up with different ideas of how to even adapt it and use it. Did mm -hmm. you know that? I um what's the name? Sting who who shaggy tour with a lot. Sting, the, 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 the rock artist. He was trying to make reggae when he made a song named Roxanne. Now to us it don't sound like reggae, but it inspired him to do different great things. Exactly. And those are just great things about our culture that I like to emulate and speak about more than who is clashing this year and how oh, this one flap and you know, the derogatory things that have been coming out about each other and the family and yeah, yeah you know, it get like, too personal. It get too personal, yeah. Yeah, for me. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right, yeah really and truly, you're right. Cause um, I remember the time with you and Junior Cat and Mister the stance where you take about that, and mm. me not like the two are not a two good artists. And yeah. you know, what I mean, if 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 you and Junior Cat could have do a, a collaboration together, would that be something? Right, right. Me not, me right. Love the two are Right, so um, so um, Dr. McCandall there too, you know, and we definitely want him get a chance to ask a question, and if poor us there as well, you know, remember if you just ask a question, the artist there, yeah, ask a dance all question and go to you know, so go to poor us, let's see you unmute your mic. Yeah, the question I'm gonna ask, big up yourself, Paul. Yeah. Um, like outsider, like 
Americans so like because most everybody concentrate on America, America, America. <laughs> and yes, a big audience. But like reggae music and dance music outside of America comparing to the American artists them. Oh we oh how that look. Cause most of the other places we don't have no number for me I know measuring stick. For measure it. So okay, I didn't hear the question. How it what? How it look like because most artists when them sell album, like some of the country them, we don't know the numbers and yeah. them things there. We don't know well, American well, numbers. I, mean, I think I think everything is kind of more globalized on the net. You can see it. It's just maybe we don't know for search feed, but like right now me and tour in New Zealand and Australia and it's Dance all reggae me wave the flag for, and and you know the, it, it, I never had nothing to do with um the the more passa passa side of the thing. I'm just concentrate on a part where you know it can take me to these places because basically people want your music to kind of get their mind off a of reality, you know. And there's reality songs, yes, that people can appreciate, but also them kind of you know it is an escape from them own a real life. When you see people look up to our artists, them want to. They like the lifestyle that him putting out there, emulating, and they want to be like that. So for me, that is how I look at it. I don't, I don't think that, um, as you said before, if dancehall is in a lull, I think it's not in the place that it was. But I would never give up on it. It's the music that carry me here, and you know, there, there will be other years that we go and find a hit music. One day, Egyptian going sing a song, I have a bad voice, and I'm going to sing a song where Techie well, and that's just the simple fact of it. As long as him keep on doing what I do. I remember back in the day I had a song called Deport Them and uh, Infiltrate. And then there was a couple of years that I never really had a hit. But I'm working at the genre, I'm do song until I find song like Give Me The Light. So for me, there's ebb and flow time for the entire genre. I just don't think people should get disheartened or discouraged when you hear, oh, dancehall is not at the top slot in terms of being sold anymore. Because if you really love the music, you wouldn't really care about just the selling part. You don't care about the expression part. You don't care about how um, it it actually influences the younger ones in our society. And that is my main reason for just trying to emulate positive things out of the genre. But can I ask you a question? Why why do people don't like um, the good music, quality music anymore? Like, for instance, um, I would have done a song. I have a song just released for an album, my sister, Carol Pearl, Brax in the Lara song, um, saying it, it's a wonderful day. Yeah, nobody mention it. Nobody talk about it. But if a song come out to them and say, don't not throw it or sit on the face, it, everybody talk about it. Why the people take on to the negative part of the music more than the positive part? You know what I mean? Tell people. I tell mm -hmm. people that millions or thousands of years ago when you human beings we did we we were more hunter gatherers than you the, 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 so the science say or the history say mm -hmm. when a lion come into your community if mm -hmm. we if we took it nonchalantly and just say oh see a lion there he wanna eat the pick of them mm -hmm. we have to say you see one lion there and so it embedded in us to talk about the bad things I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, so it's human nature in a moment and if you yeah. stop it but you can't fight against it with your intellect you can and so for me, me just me just look on the next side of things and and I, I tell you what I can though. say to you is every hit song you ever hear me with, I've had probably twenty other songs that I recorded in between them time. There are more. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a one song I'll go do it sometime. You know? You have to just keep on trying moment and keep up to keep up to your up to your standard of what you believe in, you know? Well, then I have yeah, to pass like my age, you know, me I, can't go talk about certain things. Me never either do it when me young, no, I mean, I'm I, I see same thing with me. And, 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 <laughs> I'm, and I'm not saying certain things for each other. People know, so, but they know. Hey, <laughs> hey King Sean, King Sean and Lillian, I got to yeah. tell you something, because yeah. me is a selector for your son, me a foundation selector, and me yeah. can tell you something. You see, me buy Sean Paul music, and me buy your music. You yeah. understand me? Mm. And when me, when me look on old, them I said the music change. To me, the more things change, the more things remain the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that is me. You know what I mean? And me as a selector, me not make people come tell me where to play. Just like you, the fan stage. You know, uh, if somebody come to you and tell you, say, sing this the way, sing this all the way, you're supposed to have a stance. We say, boy, all right, this is the way, or you deliver yourself to them. And that is when we see that sharp ball. See, uh, respect, Sean, man, respect. Sean Paul no make nobody dictate to him how to deliver. Right, right. I'm talking about that, you know. I'm happy you said that, Lion Man, because but, um, even listening to Mr. Maurice Elias's interview on the fix, you know, he, he made a very valuable point when he pointed out that 
when mm. he started, when you were being signed, you know, they, they, they actually you guys were insistent on maintaining creative control. And, you know, that was, you know, excellent to know that you, you know, did that as an artist. As we have seen, our fellow, you know, co-workers, you know, them give away them creative control or them go over one next lane and it's just yeah. not working per se, but definitely at that time. <laughs> you Sean Paul reason on Imotep University channel about 30 minutes. Clearly shows Sean Paul it's a humble guy. He talk, he answered questions on a little YouTuber page. This no disrespect to Imotep University. Sean Paul can get and be interview. Even said he was about to perform. Thanks for visiting. Like, subscribe and comment and check our other videos out. It's just yeah. not working per se, but definitely at that time, <laughs> you decided to put your destiny in your own hands. And, you know, yeah, man, they definitely work out. You know, so. you want to say about Sean. Him say, when he said to Sean, say, make we go eat some Jamaican food. Sean said, no, so true. And he said, that right. make a big difference because the man, I think, different way ahead. And that's excellent. Right, right. That's so, yeah. but, so is it Jamaican far. YouTube is here too, you know? And I know but you might want to ask here. Sean Paul a question. It's, it's, it's a, a great discussion. Right, right now, we just get ready for my show and we are going to go do it. Oh, damn. I'm going to try to log in back when we're there in the car downstairs. So hopefully, we can add to the discussion. But, but I'm going to go on and talk about the thing then, man. And, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, respect yeah, man. I respect for the check in, my general, man. Greatly appreciate yes, it, man. You know um, the thing, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, 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 man.